because it is October, which means we have Halloween this month and it's time to read some spooky books. I am so excited. I have got so many books on my TBR for this month. I think this is my most ridiculous TBR yet. I literally have 13 books on my TBR, so it's super unrealistic, super ambitious, super ridiculous, but I just have so many books I want to read this month and I just love October. Even though Australia doesn't really celebrate Halloween, we do, but definitely not as intensely as America. I still love to get in the spirit and I love to read some spooky books. Yeah, so I have a lot of books on my TBR. I'm probably not going to get to them all, but these are all books that I really hope to get to read in October because I feel like it's the perfect time to read these spooky slash dark books. So the first book that I want to finish, this isn't a spooky book at all, but I just wanted to mention it because I am hoping to finish it within the next few days because I'm filming this on the 1st of October. That is Bridge of Clay by Marcus Suzak, which comes out on the 9th of October. And I really want to read this before it's released. I'm so excited about this. This is one of my most anticipated releases because Marcus Suzak is the author of the Book Thief, aka one of my favourite books of all time, so I am in the middle of this, I'm only on page 15 so I obviously need to make more progress, but yeah, I really hope to finish this in October before it's released. Can't really say if I'm liking it so far because I only just started it, but I am really excited. But yeah, so hopefully I'll be finishing this before it's released on 9th of October. So I want to read City of Ghost by Victoria Schwab. This is her first middle grade novel and I love middle grade and I love Victoria Schwab so I'm super excited for this. This sounds like it's going to be so much fun and super spooky. So basically we follow Cassidy who has a near death experience and as a result she can see and interact with ghosts. I love ghost stories, that's why I'm super excited about this. And her parents actually have their own TV show where they go to the world's most haunted places. I feel like I said haunted weirdly, but anyway, yeah, they go to the world's most haunted places for their show, and so for the summer they go to Edinburgh, and Cassidy begins to realise that not all ghosts are friendly. Oh my gosh, this is just the perfect October read. I've been saving this to read in October, and it's really short. It's under 300 pages, plus it's middle grade, so the font is quite big. So I really don't think this will take long to read. So I'm super excited to just cozy up and read this in one sitting and get all the spooky vibes. The next book that I hope to read is My Plain Jane by Cynthia Hand, Brodie Ashton and Jodie Meadows. And this is a retelling of Jane Eyre, which I actually haven't read. <laughs> I've heard that it's fine to just read it. And this definitely has spooky vibes. It involves ghost hunting. And on the inside it says, Reader, there will be murder, mayhem, conspiracy, and of course, romance. Prepare for an adventure of gothic proportions in which all is not as it seems. And a certain gentleman, Mr. Rochester, is hiding more than skeletons in his closets. So this just sounds like, yeah, perfect to read during October. And I've heard really great things about this series. This is part of a companion series where these three authors do retellings of Jane Eyre, but you don't need to read the first one, which is My Lady Jane. You don't need to read that one before you read this one. So yeah, even though I haven't read Jane Eyre, I still want to read this because I feel like it'll be fun to read in October and I really hope I love it. The next book that I want to read in October is Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco and this follows Audrey Rose who is investigating the murders of Jack the Ripper and she's trying to investigate who Jack the Ripper is. So I'm excited for the setting. Obviously this will be set in London and I've heard it has very gothic vibes. I actually have heard from multiple people that there is actually a heavy focus on the romance. But I'm going to go into this with that knowledge. I'm very fascinated by stories about Jack the Ripper so I definitely am excited for this one and I think I'm going to try to listen to this on audiobook so I can get through my books this month because I've heard really great things about the audiobook although this does have like images throughout so I think I will flip through while I'm listening to the audiobook as well. So I am going to go into this book with lower expectations just because I have heard mixed things some people love it some people not as much so I'm excited to see how I feel about it and I really hope I do enjoy it. So the next two books I'm going to read for the Wishathon, which is a readathon that is going on in October. I believe it's during the last week of October, hosted by Rhiannon, one of my best booktube friends. So of course I want to participate and support her, but I don't think I'll be able to fully participate in the readathon just because I've been a little bit stressed with my reading lately, so I don't really feel like participating in a readathon but I do want to semi-participate, so I am going to participate in two challenges. So I'm going to read the group book and I'm also going to do the body read challenge. So the group book for the Witchathon is The Girl Who Drank the Moon 
by Kelly Barnhill. This is a middle grade story. In this book there is a witch called Zan. People leave a baby as an offering to the witch in the forest because they are scared of her and they think this will keep her from terrorizing them. But the witch in the forest is actually very kind. She rescues these babies and feeds them starlight and delivers them to families on the other side of the forest. But one day Zan accidentally feeds a baby moonlight which gives the baby extraordinary powers, extraordinary magic. And so Zan decides she must raise the baby as her own. So this just sounds so cute and it's something I'm definitely interested in. As soon as Spencer from Common Spence mentioned that this book has Kiki's delivery service slash House Moving Castle vibes, I bought it. <laughs> so I'm really happy that this is the group book for Witchathon because I already had it and I definitely have been wanting to read it. So I feel like October will be the perfect time. And I do really love middle grade, so I'm excited. I'm going to be reading two middle grade books this month. And yeah, I'm just super excited. I just feel like this will be a story that I love. It has won a lot of prizes, as you can see. And a lot of people love this book, so I really hope I'll be one of them too. The next book, I don't have a physical copy because I'm planning to listen to it on audiobook. But that is Down Among the, Sp Down Among the Sticks and Bones by Shadow Maguire. Oh my gosh, I can't speak. <laughs> Down Among the Sticks and Bones by Sean and Maguire. <laughs> so this is the second book in the Wayward Children series. And this is actually a prequel to the first book, which is Every Hearted Doorway, which I really loved. I read that during Booktubeathon. And I also buddy read that with Rhiannon during Booktubeathon. And now we're going to buddy read Down Among the Sticks and Bones together for the Witchathon. So I'm super excited. I really love the series. It's super dark. The first book is about this home for wayward children. So basically children who have gone through different doorways and when they come back to reality, they have trouble adjusting back into reality. It's just so fun seeing all the different characters and which doorways they've been through and seeing their struggles coping with reality. Uh, it's, it's just such a fascinating series and it's super, super dark. The first one is super dark. This is another perfect book to read during October and I'm excited to bunny read it with Rhiannon during the Witchathon. So the next book that I want to read isn't 100% locked in because I have already read it, but I would like to reread it this month. And that is Vicious by V.E. Schwab. So if you didn't know, this is one of my absolute favorite books of all time. It's just, so incredible. This book follows two timelines. So in one timeline we follow Victor and Eli who are college roommates and they're best friends and in the second timeline it's 10 years later and they are arch enemies and it's just so fascinating to see how they became enemies. So basically for Eli's thesis in college he wants to test whether EOs, extraordinary people, can exist. So they do all these experiments and it is just so fascinating and dark. There's a lot of trigger warnings with this book. There is trigger warnings for a lot of violence, suicide, there's a lot. It's super dark so just be wary of that but it is so good. The writing is phenomenal and I love the complexity of these two characters because they're both very morally grey. And the reason I want to read this is for two reasons. One, because Eventual has come out. I haven't received my copy yet, but that's also on my TBR this month. So I want to read it before I dive into Vengeful. And the second reason is because this is the book of the month for Name of the Book, which is an Australian-based book club hosted by Kaz from Little Book Owl, Pierre Ford, Jean from Happy Indulgence, and I think there's a few others. I've been meaning to go to one of their book clubs because they do have live shows and also they meet in person in Sydney and Brisbane. So I want to go to the Sydney one. And because they're doing Vicious for October, I was like, okay, I'm really going to try because I love Vicious and I would love to discuss it. So I hope I'll have time to reread it. This is a really fast paced book, so it doesn't take super long to read. So I hope it's possible. And yeah, like I said, I also hope to read Vengeful, which is the sequel that just came out in October as well. The next two books that I want to read, <laughs> these aren't really part of the spooky books, but I do hope to read them in October because Kaz from Little Book Owl is hosting The Strange The Read Along, which is a read along for the Stranger Dreamer series. And she's having a live show at the end of the month to discuss the series. So I hope I can reread Strange The Dreamer and Muse of Nightmares in October. <laughs> I read these in September and it's quickly become my second favorite series of all time after Harry Potter. So I love this series so, so much and I really hope I can reread it for the read along, even though I just reread it. So it's not 100% necessary, but I would like to reread them. Plus I would just like to reread them just because I love them so much. So I already want to reread them. I'm actually considering testing out the audiobooks for this series because I have heard great things about the Stranger Dreamer audiobook. So 
I might take the audiobook route, but I, yeah, I hope I can reread this in October. The next book that I really hope to read in October is Our Dark Duet by Victoria Schwab. So this is a young adult Victoria Schwab novel. So this is the second and final book in the Monsters of Rarity duology. So the first book is This Savage Song, which is one of my favourite books of all time. I read it during Booktubeathon and I just fell in love with it. It's super dark and I love the concept. Basically in this world, violence creates actual monsters. So it's just such a fascinating concept. I've been waiting to read Our Dark Duet because I don't want the duology to end, but I really hope to read it this month because yeah, like I said, it's super dark, so it'll be perfect to read during October. And yeah, we follow Kate Harker and August, and August is actually a monster, but he wants more than anything to be human. And I just love them both, love reading about them. I love this world. So I'm really intrigued to see how this duology concludes. And I have heard mixed things about this as well, actually. I have heard some people being disappointed, but I have actually heard some people say this is the best Victoria Schwab book. So I'm just so intrigued and I want to know how I feel about this book. And I really hope it doesn't let me down because I love the first book so much. So yeah, I'm scared as well because I've heard this breaks your heart, but oh my gosh, I just need to read it. The next book that I hope to read is actually a manga and that is Death Note. And this is the black edition. So it contains volumes one and two. Look how cool it is. Yes. So I don't really know what this is about and I kind of want to keep it that way just because I just want to go in kind of not knowing much. But I've heard that it's extremely dark and twisted so I feel like it'll be good to read during October. And I mentioned multiple times that I really want to read more manga so I really hope I can read this during October. Let's hope that I can. <laughs> okay I have two more books left in my TBR. <laughs> so this book I'm 100% reading because it is for the A Dark Shade of Readalongs, which I am a co-host of and we have our final live show in October on Spencer's channel, Common Spence. I am really sad about it. <laughs> but anyways, so of course we are reading A Conjuring of Light by B.E. Schwab, the final book in the Shades of Magic series. I'm really excited slash sad to be reading the conclusion to the trilogy. Oh my gosh, it's so huge. <laughs> but yeah, so if you didn't know the Shades of Magic series, we follow Kel, who is a blood magician, and he's one of the last Antari Antari, which basically means he has the ability to travel between all four parallel Londons. We have Black London, Grey London, White London, and Red London, and all Londons have different levels of magic in them. And Black London is actually kind of extinct because it my camera just died because I've been filming all day. <laughs> But I'm going to make it quick. I have two more books to talk about. So yeah, I was going to say that I feel like I've said the synopsis of this book 10 million times by now. But yeah, so if you haven't picked up the series, I highly recommend it if you're into fantasy. So yeah, we're going to be reading this. I forgot the date that the live show is, but I'll put it here and I'll link all the information down below if you want to join us. But yeah, I'm so excited to read this and I really hope I love it as much as the first two in the series. So the final book that I want to read in October is, I don't know if it's spooky slash dark, but I think I've heard that it's dark, but I do want to read it because the third book is coming out really soon in December. So that is Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare, and this is the first book in the Dark Artificer series. Well, it does say dark, obviously. <laughs> so this is the latest series in the Shadowhunter world, and we follow Emma Carstairs and Julian Blackthorne, and they are Parabatai, and they are in love with each other, but you're not supposed to be in love with your Parabatai. I think that's what it's about, and I think it also follows a series of murders. I don't know, but I'm excited to read this, and I really hope I love it as much as everyone else does. But yeah, I do hope to also read this in October as well. Those are all the books that I hope to read in October. I know there are a lot. I probably won't be able to get to them all, but I really hope I'll be able to somehow. I'm going to try to listen to some on audiobook and stuff, but yeah. Um, I'm so excited for October and for all the spooky movies and everything. I really hope I'll get some cool spooky vibes from these books. And yes, so yeah, let me know what you're going to be reading in October or what you think is like the ultimate spooky book. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are having a good day or night and I'll see you on my next one.